When you open your eyes first thing in the morning and reach to turn off the alarm, what inspires you to throw off the covers and get out of bed? Really, you don't need to get out of bed at all. You could pull the blanket over your head and go back to sleep. But you're probably unlikely to do that. There are errands to run, there are kids to take to school, people to see, all the everyday things you do. And no matter how small they seem, there are reasons to get out of bed in the morning. But there's one unique reason why you might feel especially motivated. Every day, you're able to enjoy every, wait for it, accident. I'm going to say that again. Every day, you're able to enjoy every accident, every mishap, every mistake, and a few moments of just general chaos. It's all perspective, to be honest. But imagine that one morning that, let's say you run out of shampoo because you forgot to buy some the day before. You spill coffee on your shirt because you used a different mug than usual. And you forgot to pick up your pants from the dry cleaners, so you're doing the presentation in a pair of jeans. All these things sound like the beginning of a bad day, but what if, what if a little bit of chaos is actually good for you? What if embracing it can motivate you to face the day? Stress and, and burnout, they are signs that you deserve a much needed break. And I think we're all at that place right now. But nobody should have to juggle too many things all at once. But life is unpredictable. Even for the most mindful, relaxed, well put together person that you know. And it might be one of the reasons why each day is so beautiful. Hear me out. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's calm it down in three, two, one. If you were living in your own personal Groundhog Day, where you had to live the same day over and over, it would be kind of nice at first. Any mistake you make or any blunder in the day it can be corrected because you have a second chance, but then you'd have a third chance and a fourth and a fifth. You'd know to step over that pothole or you would know to avoid picking up that hot cup of coffee too early. The day would be... I mean, picture perfect. But nobody really wants predictability. I know that sounds strange. But we would get bored of the same old day, like we're stuck in a washing machine set to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. When you drop your lunch on the floor or when you pour a bowl of cereal only to realize you don't have any milk, you just might be living your most creative and fullest life. Every day the sun comes up, that's a given. And it's another morning, another opportunity to seize the day. The sunrise is bright and the light is beginning to shine through your window and you're going about your routine. You're brushing your teeth, you take a shower, you have your tea or your coffee. It seems like it's gonna be a totally normal day. And then the dog pees on the floor and there's a traffic jam when you're already late. Before you throw in the towel and write off the day's mishaps as bad luck, stop and appreciate the unpredictability of your day. Sure, your dog made you late and being late got you stuck in traffic, but these things only happened because you have an adorable puppy and you happen to coexist with other strangers who are also just trying to get to work as well. This has a way of reminding you you're not alone, right? We often think that our misery, no matter how trivial, has only ever happened to us. Of course it's me who gets stuck in the rain without an umbrella. This always happens. But really, these mishaps happen to everyone all the time. And when it seems like nothing is going right, remember that everything that goes wrong is much more common than you think. When you embrace life's unpredictability. Each and every day becomes more important than the last. 
You have the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to handle problems. You learn to handle challenges by getting through them. And that makes facing the day so worthwhile. We all have those days when everything seems to go wrong. You, you burned dinner, you stepped in a puddle, or you unloaded the dishwasher without realizing it wasn't clean. It can be easy to let these small mishaps ruin your day. However, it's important to remember that these moments can also be an opportunity to joy. When everything goes awry, all you can do is laugh. And your laughter is a reminder that despite your flaws, you're just a person doing your best. In the end, it's these little moments of imperfection that actually make life interesting, that make life special. And every single morning when the alarm clock rings, you get to keep laughing and keep doing your best. As they say, to err is human and to forgive is divine. Laughter can be a great way to offer yourself forgiveness. And it can help you forgive others of their flaws too. When your partner comes home from the grocery store without all the ingredients you needed for dinner or your friend spills something on the sweater that you loaned them. You don't have to allow anger to be your impulse. People are frustrating sometimes. They are, but only because their lives are as unpredictable as yours. It's tempting to write these moments off as thinly veiled attempts to ruin your life because everyone is out to get you. But it's probably more likely that your friends and family they're just as human as you are. Spending time with your loved ones is a reason to get out of bed every day. And not despite their minor flaws, but because of them. Of course, practicing mindfulness and learning how to breathe through the moments, this can ground you. But the acceptance that there are so many things out of your control is a tenet of mindfulness. You can control your thoughts and your body, but you can't control the weather or other people. A true mindfulness practice. Are you hearing me? A true mindfulness practice requires acceptance that life will throw things your way. Life is going to throw things your way. That's how it works. Instead of dodging, grab a catcher's mitt and keep playing the game. Handling accidents with grace, it's not always easy. But the more you accept life as it is, the more likely you're going to make decisions based on thought rather than impulse. In times when life is really too frustrating, I like to go on a long run. Running isn't forever. It gives you a second chance to think things over. It takes you out of your space, out of your element, out of that place where perhaps that incident happened. So maybe you're not a runner, perhaps taking a walk or just going out your back door or going out your front door. When you're on a run or doing an activity and you're breathless and you're tired and you trip over your untied shoes, you might even be able to laugh it off and realize what you were so worried about or upset about, well, maybe it really wasn't something to be so worried about or upset about. Every morning is a chance to heal. Think about that. Every morning when you wake up is a chance to heal, it's a chance to grow, it's a chance to laugh, and it's a chance to embrace all of life's unpredictability. There are hundreds of reasons to keep living. Even the mistakes, the chaotic moments are an inspiration to enjoy every moment of your life. All of these small mishaps, they challenge you and they keep you on your toes. Life isn't Groundhog Day. As much as you want to be Bill Murray, it won't happen. It'll never be perfect. But there will always be room in your life for imperfection. I'm going to say that one more time, kind of slow. There will always be room in your life for imperfection. 
as long as you embrace the day's blunders and the days that seem nearly flawless. You might even find yourself jumping out of the bed in the morning just to see what happens next. There's something oddly comforting about imperfection. Perhaps it's the knowledge that we're all in this together, blunders and everything. Or maybe it's the fact that imperfection reminds us of our humanity, right? Whatever the reason, there's no denying that imperfection has its place in our lives. Of course, that doesn't mean that we should strive for to be mediocre. Far from it. The imperfections in our lives, they can actually be some of the most interesting and exciting parts of our existence. After all, who wants to live in a world that's predictable and boring? The beauty of imperfection is that it keeps us guessing. And that is what makes up life. So the next time you find yourself faced with a less than perfect situation, embrace it. Who knows? You might just find yourself enjoying it all the more. To find more episodes of Comet Down, hear the musical playlist from today's episode, or simply wanting to know where to send chocolate chip cookies, visit CometDownPodcast.com. You're not alone. You are not alone. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. And now something my attorney wants me to say. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and is not intended to, nor should they serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you, and you should only act upon the advice of such physician. Now, what I'd like to say. I am an extreme empath by nature, but my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this and future podcasts in aiding those needs. To find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CometDownPodcast.com. And finally, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of emotional health. I'm Chad Lawson, and until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me next week as we calm it down.